first thing we need to do is make sure your computer and the Machine Plus are on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's go to Tractor and enable Link. Now, back on the Machine Plus, click Settings, navigate to MIDI, and turn knob 4 to enable Link and you'll see the bar scrolling in one link, meaning that one device is connected via Link, which is Tractor. To make sure it's working properly, I'm going to hit the Tempo button on the Machine Plus and turn the encoder. You'll now see that when I adjust the tempo on Machine Plus, it's also changing it in Tractor. I want to have the audio running into one of Tractor's decks as a live input. Setting it up this way allows me to use Tractor's effects and the mixer effects on the audio coming from the Machine Plus. I have a pair of quarter inch to RCA cables that I'll use to route the audio. I'll connect the quarter inch cables to the main outs on the back of the Machine Plus and connect the RCA end of the cable into deck D on my S4. Then, I'll make sure the input is set to line. If not, I can hold Shift plus EXT or External and switch between the mic or line settings. Let's hit some pads to make sure we're getting signal. In the preferences of Tractor, under Input, you can see audio is coming in through Deck D. I'll switch Deck D to a live input and now I'm ready to go. While I'm DJing in Tractor, any patterns I create or if I'm step sequencing a beat in Machine Plus will be in perfect sync with the songs I'm playing in Tractor. I can also use any of Tractor's built-in effects on the audio coming from the Machine Plus. Let's play some music and show how it all sounds together. <laughs> <laughs> 